I'm Dr. Michelle Jorgensen at Total Care Dental and American Fork, and this is Dental Mysteries Revealed, Episode 5. I'm going to touch on another secret today that you may not realize, and this one's been very interesting for me to find out. So there's been a health fad, I would say for the last about 10 years, that really talks about green smoothies and green drinks and incorporating a lot of greens in our diet. Now I'm all for that because there are a lot of good vitamins and nutrients in those greens. But I want you to think about something here, and this is something that was shared with me. We are given things on this earth by a God who intends for us to use them. He also gave us a little hint in how we use them by how easy they are to grow and how often we can get them. So I actually have greenhouses at my home right now that are growing greens, but they're little teeny tiny puny things because it's January and I am not able to get bucket loads of greens right now. Now starting in April, we're going to have more greens than we can possibly fathom using. So. I take cues by the season a little bit, and there's a reason for that. Um, at one time, we were eating, oh, I would say a gallon of greens a week at least. We were eating so many greens. It's hard to quantify greens, but we were eating so many greens, and I felt great about it. But I've had some interesting things with patients that have come just recently, and I'm going to put some pictures on this video for you to see them as well patients who are eating greens three times a day because it's an interesting American psyche. If something is good for us, then a lot of something must be even better for us. And we do it in everything. If you look around in our society, this is what we do in everything. So if greens are good, then we better eat them three times a day with every single meal in mass quantities, 365 days a year. I don't think that's good because what I'm seeing is greens, particularly spinach, Swiss chard, kale, and beet greens, all have something called oxalic acid in it. Now in a small amount, oxalic acid isn't a big deal, but in a big amount it is. But oxalic acid inhibits the absorption of calcium. So this is the mystery I've seen just recently. People are coming in, very, very healthy people that are eating greens three times a day in mass quantities. And I look at their teeth, they don't have any decay, but their teeth are literally dissolving away, literally. And they're shocked when I tell them this and I show them pictures and we look at it and I say, what are you eating? And we try to get to the bottom of it. And usually there's a few things that we come up with that might be implicated. But the big one I'm finding lately is massive greens consumption. So this high oxalic acid amount from all the greens is inhibiting absorption of calcium. Teeth need calcium to be strong. So do our bones. We can see our teeth. We can't see our bones. So I warn these people that most likely if you're having your teeth dissolve, your bones are doing the same. So we've really had to talk about how to limit that oxalic acid. One of the keys is take a break. You know, when it's January and no greens are growing, take a break from greens for a little while. There's a lot of very healthy things that you can eat. Um, you don't need to eat them three times a day. You just don't. I know in America we think it's great, but you don't have to. Some greens are great. A lot of greens may not be great for you. The other thing you can do is cook those greens. When you cook the greens, it actually inactivates a lot of that oxalic, oxalic acid. So if you really want spinach for dinner, just cook it a little bit. Steam it. Just gently steam it. Don't wash away all those good vitamins and minerals in boiling water. So just gently steam it. In fact, you don't even need to add any water. Use the water just that clings onto the leaves after washing and steam it that way. That's going to and, and activate a lot of that oxalic acid and you're not going to have the same problem with it. So again, things that are so good for us have actually turned out to be bad in excess. So just be moderate in what you do. Good things are great, don't do too much because we're finding problems. So again, I'll put some pictures on this video because it's so interesting to see these teeth literally dissolving away with no dental decay. So be careful with what you eat and keep checking back for these dental mysteries revealed. There may be things that you're going to learn about other things that you're doing in your life. I'm so excited to be able to share them with you. Again, this is Dr. Michelle Jorgensen at Total Care Dental. See you next time.